Hey everyone, this is Next Archer, and I will be showing the Chris Reeve Knives catalog. Uh, this is more like a booklet than anything, or a little pamphlet, but I will be showing that. Very nice, um, actually raised lettering, if you can see that kind of. And on the back here, think twice, cut once. And as all of you know, recently bought a Chris Reeve small Zabenza. So, very familiar with Chris Reeve knives. As you can see, the first part, they actually have little pages showing the different knives in there. Let's make sure that's everything in there. Yep. Right there, Chris Reeve knives. This is the email, the address. Got this little pamphlet at uh, Blade Show with all my other catalogs. So. First off, we have the 25th Anniversary Zabenza, or the Zabenza 25. Has finger grooves, a flat grind. Um, the other were a hollow grind on here. So, you guys can read this. Apparently, Zabenza means work. So you can read all this. Hopefully you can. Go a little closer on that. and all the specifications. Very nice knife. Um, the only thing I didn't really like on the Zabenza 21 was I thought the pocket clip stuck out a little too much. Um, but because on the finger grooves, one of the grooves was actually exactly where the pocket clip was, so it was actually digging into right there when holding the knife. Unlike with this Sabenza, it actually goes in between those two fingers. I don't know. That was the only thing I disliked about the Zabenza 25, which the rumor is the Zabenza 21 is going to be getting discontinued for the 25. So let's put that over to the side. Then we have Chris Reeve knives right here. the awards he's won. He won another one in 2012. There's Mr. Reeve himself. Mm. Shows his workshop. Talks a little about the steel he uses. Says the different steels he's used ATS 34, BG 42, S 30 V, and now S 35 VN, the Damascus. Then we have the tie lock. Talks a little about the tie lock. Very neat little knife. I don't know if they actually had any of these at Blade Show. It's a knife that I really want to handle. Has some more information on the back. With these, they just show tons and tons of information. Great pictures. Then. Zabenza Intracool Lock. There's the small and large Zabenza. Shows when the original, regular, classic, and he developed it in 1987. Let's take 
that out for now. Talks a little more about the Zabenza. I'll show that. You can read it if you want. I'm sure it's nothing that you can't find online. And the back. Okay. And inside of this were these two pieces of paper. This first one shows the computer generated graphics. Very neat graphics. Um, if you haven't already, go online, look up the computer generated graphics. Tons of them are there. And they are simply beautiful. This one has the Zabenza 21 with the inlays. You can see the micarta and the Gabin Ebony inlay. Very high bonding double side tape is how they're put in. Apparently the longer um, the tape is in there, the stronger the bond. You can even get mammoth ivory inlays, snake wood. Very nice. Micarta. Sounds like they might even start making a different colored micarta because at this time we offer only. So that would be neat if they start offering blue micarta and all that. Okay. Manundi. A very nice gentleman's knife. The Zulu word meaning very nice. Different wood inlays. Let's try to speed up this video, I guess. The Umnanzan. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Or they even have the pronunciation. There we go. So if you want to pause there, read it, feel free to. Sikio, maybe? Looks like a kitchen knife, maybe? Yep, kitchen knives. It's Zulu for sharp. Very neat. Then we have the green beret knife. Very nice canvas micarta on it. Chris Reeves um, fixed blades are a dream to hold in your hands. Very ergonomic. There we go. 
We have a bunch more little papers. We have the Pacific. Not a fan of serrations, but wish you could choose if they were on there or not. There you go. The professional soldier. Oh, I didn't even really know about this knife until I just actually picked up this page. I'd heard the name, but I've never really seen the knife before. Hmm. Collaboration with designer Bill Harsey. Not exactly what this is about, but in those. I guess that might just be to add to the picture. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's 35 yen, like all the others. Very nice. I'm going to have to look up that. The Nala, maybe? Love that. Great. Leather sheath, very attractive. It's a Skinner, that's 35 VN. And it's a South African antelope that it's named after. Hmm. Very interesting. It's even printed in the United States. And accessories. You have the leather pouch, calfskin pouch, wallet, or coin purse, a checkbook case, a hat. That'd be cool to wear. We have the think once, cut, or think twice, cut once. Uh, pocket clip inserts placement pocket clips fluorinated grease I've thought about getting that but it seems a little too hard to actually find there you go they have a DVD the elegant blade That's just one sided. And then there is the price chart. Professional Soldier, 195 for the one that I really liked. And then in here we have prices for the Zabenzas. You can pause on that if you want. The annual limited edition inlaid. The wood inlays and all that good stuff. Damascus options. And these are the accessories. And right here, we have the order form. There you go. And that is the Chris Reeve knife catalog. I believe there was also a business card that was in there. I have another one of the catalogs. Let's see. Yep, right here. So, just throw that in there. 
thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and thank, well, I just said thank you for watching. So, have a great day, and enjoy.